Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. Industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. And brought to you by PaintedAutoBodyParts.com, the leading U.S. auto body parts online store. Rhino Rack, make space for adventure. And by Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM Fit Radio since 1977. Now this Dodge is sort of your classic American pickup truck, right? It's a good looking truck, but a lot of chrome in the front. Chrome's kind of become passe these days. It's not that durable, not all that great looking, and you want to stand out from some of the other trucks out there looking for something tougher. Well, that's where our friends from Misguided Fabrication come in. Matt, how did you get the inspiration for this bumper? I was working up north in northern Alberta, and uh, I kept smashing up my chrome factory bumpers, so I got home for Christmas and I started designing a bumper that could last up there. And what's it made out of? This is all 316 mild steel on the outside shell and the internal gussets and mounting is all quarter inch mild steel. And how is it made? It's all welded and bent and cut with a CNC. And everything's done right there in house? Right? Everything's done in house. Now we know we're getting something high quality because you guys are making it yourselves and what kind of guarantee do you have on the product? Welds and the actual metal product is lifetime warranty and we have lifetime warranty on the coating for chipping and cracking and workmanship defects. And I love this red. What are the other options you have for colors? We can color match any truck paint code and uh, we can do rock guard powder coat or just paint. Well, it's great looking and it's not all that hard to install. In fact, John's already getting a head start over there. Well, Dave mentions it's a little passe. Well, I'm not sure what that means, but I can tell you it's not beefy enough for this 2500 turbo diesel pickup truck. Now, let me bring you up to speed. We just took some bolts out underneath. It bolts the bumper to the frame, had a ratchet, took them out. Now it's kind of pinched in there. Now it's just a matter of, Matt, you want to come in here and give me a hand? We got a couple of side bolts on there, and then we're going to get the bumper out. It's supported with the pinch right now. So as we take these bumpers out, Matt, tell me, um, installations, a little varies on every different make and model? It's a little bit different on all of them, but they're pretty similar. You would call it a do-it-yourself job? Absolutely. Yep, you and a buddy. I mean, your bumper's pretty heavy compared to this, but I got mine out. You got yours out? Yep. All right, so what's the next move there? We'll pull it off. Pull it off, right? Grab the little hook and slide it right off of there. So what we can pull it, wow. All right, well, we got a little wire harness here. Get that secured and undone. All right, pop this block heater out of there. That's good, ready to go. Look at that. All right, so let's just put this one down here. We don't need it. We're going to use a better one, right? That's right. Now what? We got to pull this off, but this may not be on other trucks, correct? No, nope, this is just the 13 plus Dodges. Okay, and this is basically just directing some air up there. We're not going to have that problem because your bumper is designed to actually have good airflow as well. That's right. Cool. So go ahead. We just slide this off, correct? Down and out. There we go. We're not going to reuse that. Nope. Perfect. Now, Matt, it's just a matter of reassembly. There's the bolt holes. You can see them now real clear where we took it off. The block heart heater that was down there clipped to the bumper. We're ready to go with your new one. Well, we got the misguided fabrication bumper here in place, and you can see it looks really good. The black coating on it, the tow hooks, the lights. I imagine it's even going to look better on the truck. But before we do, come down here with me for a second, Matt. Your installation process, you made it real easy with these mounting brackets. Yeah, I made them so that you could just set it on the frame without any bolts and the bumper won't fall off. And then you got adjustment left, right, up and down, and tilt forward and back. Phenomenal. So we should just go ahead and put it up in there. You said you grab the handle right here, kind of keep the back straight. Come on up. We're going to line it with the bumpers. And once we do that, you come my side a little bit. I'm going up a little higher. I think I'm there. Are you there? Yep. Wow. Now the next thing we have to do is just go behind it and bolt it up. Well, we got our bumper on, we got it adjusted and secured in the back with our bolts. Then we came around to the inner fender well, cut the liner to fit, tucked it in, looks great. Our Passe truck is no more, Matt. This thing looks good. What other bumpers do you offer? We offer bumpers for Dodge, Ford, and GM. Uh, they're available with a bull bar, no bar, or a full grill guard, and a 20 inch or 30 inch light bar in the front. Well, I'm sure just like this truck, it probably changes the whole looks of the truck. What's your website? www.misguidedfab.com.
We are finished with this episode of Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. But do not fret, we're going to be back next week with more great products for your vehicle. In the meantime, check us out on social media and see what we're up to. From our entire crew here at Motorhead Garage, we will see you next time. Drive safely. <laughs>